A 35-year-old woman once came to my office to discuss some recent dreams. To my astonishment, and also my everlasting gratitude, she told me a dream of such profound transformation that I never have forgotten it. I am walking along a road, feeling depressed. Suddenly, I stumble on a gravestone and look down to see my own name on it. At first I am shocked, but then strangely relieved. I find myself trying to get the corpse out of the coffin, but realize that I am the corpse. It is becoming more and more difficult to hold myself together because there is nothing left to keep the body together anymore. I go through the bottom of the coffin and enter a long, dark tunnel. I continue until I come to a small, very low door. I knock. An extremely old man appears and says, So, you have finally come. I notice he is carrying a staff with two snakes entwined around it, facing one another. Quietly, but purposefully, he brings out yards and yards of Egyptian linen and wraps me from head to foot in it, so I look like a mummy. Then he hangs me upside down from one of many hooks on the low ceiling and says, You must be patient. It's going to take a long time. Inside the cocoon it's dark, and I can't see anything that is happening. At first, my bones hold together, but later I feel them coming apart. Then everything turns liquid. I know that the old man has put one snake in at the top and one at the bottom, and they are moving from top to bottom and back and forth from side to side, making figure eights. Meanwhile, I see the old man sitting at a window, looking out on the seasons as they pass. I see winter come and go, then spring, summer, fall, and winter again. Many seasons go by. In the room, there is nothing but me in this cocoon with the snakes, the old man, and the window open to the seasons. Finally, the old man unwraps the cocoon. There is a wet butterfly. I ask, is it very big or is it small? Both, he answers. Now we must go to the sun room to dry you out. We go to a large room with a big circle cut out of the top. I lie on the circle of light under this to dry out while the old man watches over the process. He tells me that I am not to think of the past or the future, but just be there and be still. Finally, he leads me to the door and says, When you leave, you can go in all four directions, but you are to live in the middle. Now the butterfly flies up into the air. Then it descends to the earth, and comes down on a dirt road. Gradually, it takes on the head and body of a woman, and the butterfly is absorbed, and I can feel it inside my chest. The kind of developmental unfolding imaged in this dream and in its central metaphor, the butterfly's metamorphosis, is what I want to explore in this chapter.